Hi, everyone. Welcome to Neely Henry, the fourth stop of the Alabama Bass Trail North Division. I'm Robbie Floyd, joined by Program Director of the ABT, Kay Donaldson. And Kay, fishing conditions have been tough. The locals have been talking about it, mainly due to really the rain. There hasn't been none. You know, all across the state of Alabama, we've been from one end to the other, and we just have not experienced a lot of rain here like we have in years past. And so coming into this event, you know, are they going to pull water? That's really the big question. And looking at the radar, the conditions are going to change throughout the day. So it'll be interesting to see who can make those adjustments and who's going to come out on top today. And we talk about really not raining much, but rain is in the forecast for today. But there's guys near the top of the Angler of the Ear race that really trying to hold on to that spot with one more round to go. But there's guys outside looking in that really need to step up their game today. So we've been over here practicing for three days. And in three days combined, I think we've caught six keepers. So that brings us to the point when the fish are not biting, you call up your old buddy Johnny McCombs and get him to send you all the Little Debbies he can get. In case you didn't know, he was sponsored by Little Debbie, Hostess Twinkies, and Pampers Pull-Ups. But today we're just looking for five bites because we hadn't got them the last two days. Morning guys, Chris Brown here with Alabama Bass Trail TV with Tournament Director Clay Baldus. Clay, we just got blast off out of the way, the fourth north stop here on Neely Henry. Points are a little tight. We're starting to see that structure of the angler of the year kind of come into yeah. play now. Now our first two places right now are currently 13 points <laughs> away from each wow. other. Every little point counts. Even if those guys only bring in a couple, second place could take over first just depending on what happens to first. Guys, if you don't catch them today, you're in trouble. Bingo. I was going to jerk for you if you didn't. <laughs> Sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll play much the armchair quarterback next year. <laughs> Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Bill Penny Toyota, official truck of the Alabama Bass Trail, and by Wind Creek Casino, where you can have your winning moments. There's more to come. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious. So our mission statement here at Bill Penny Motor Company is to enrich the lives of our employees and our customers and the communities we serve. 
and it really begins and ends with people. It started with that kind of philosophy with my granddad and went through my dad. Growing up around the business, I remember being just a kid washing cars and meeting these customers. Now I'm a grown adult and they get to buy vehicles from us and hopefully serve their next kin for generations to come. For the whole story, visit us at BillPennyToyota.com where people always come first. Lights are dazzling, shining bright. The busy hum permeates the air. It's electric. With a dash of spice, you kick up the heat until you spin it, twirling on your feet. Sweat it out. The thrill of the game, the high of the night. The sizzle of temptation, the intoxication of sensation, and just like that, it's another ending to your glorious hot Alabama nights. Wing Creek Casino and Hotel in Montgomery or Wetunka. Find your winning moment. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I'm switching sonar. Why? Because now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. You've witnessed the action, the thrill, and the competition of the Alabama Bass Trail. Isn't it time you got involved? Coming in 2018, over $47,000 paid out for each event. No entry fee championship, 85 grand up for grabs, plus a new Phoenix. More than half a million in cash and prizes. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Sign up now by logging on to alabamabasstrail.org. The Alabama Bass Trail Tournament Series, presented by Phoenix Bass Boats. Somebody have a sack for me. Megan? Oh, that's four. Is he a keeper? Why, heck yeah, he's 13 inches long. Yeah, you liked that, didn't you?
put up on another team here. They've got four in the box. If you look at what they're fishing, I mean, the cover here on Neely Henry is absolutely incredible. We've seen a lot of good stuff, way up shallow, some other stuff out deep. And you look at what they're fishing, I mean, there's no way it doesn't hold a fish. There's all kinds of stuff out here to fish. So I tell you what, from a cover perspective, Neely Henry's got it for the Coosa River chain. This is a really cool body of water. This portion of the program is sponsored in part by Sweet Home Alabama, by Garmin, and by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, will be right back. got a hundred road trips and some of the best are outdoors like a trip to Lake Gunnersville first stop on the Alabama Bass Trail catch anything nice or head to the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail 468 holes of golf heaven what's the time say best public golf on the planet Alabama's got a hundred road trips plan yours at alabama.travel which one you gonna take We're gonna get back out on the water in just a moment at the stop number four in the Alabama Bass Trail North Division. But we wanna talk a little bit about our town that we're in today, Gadsden, Alabama. It's a must stop and see Little River Marina. You will not wanna miss it. Located in Rainbow City, right on Neely Henry Lake. It has all the amenities for fishermen and recreational boaters alike. There's plenty of parking, a great launch, full service fuel dock, a covered deck, open patio with big screen TVs, and oh, by the way, local Joe's Barbecue, some of the best barbecue around. Another great attraction while visiting Gadsden is Nakalula Park. Learn about the pioneers that lived here and learn about the Pioneer Village. Ride the train, visit the animal park, and play a round of golf. And learn about the legend of Princess Nakalula. To find out more on our city, visit greatergadsden.com. Now let's get back to the action out on Neely Henry Lake. All right, guys, so we've been further back in the creek. We've watched guys beating the banks all day long. Leaving the creek, heading out toward the main river channel, we noticed these guys sitting out here uh, doing something a little bit different. So we're gonna pull up on them, find out what they're doing, how their day's going, and uh, see what they got going on from there. Guys, how's our morning going so far? Not great. Not great. Yeah. All right. Better practice yesterday than what today's going. So we've been following, we've been watching teams all morning beating the fire out of the bank. What are we doing out here? Uh, out here we're cranking a real long point that comes off the, the bank up there. Basically comes out, it's real shallow at the top. Gotcha. It drops off into about 18 feet out here. Just cranking it down it, trying to get a decent bite. Y'all got any in the box at all? One. one. Pretty small. I had a good one pull off earlier on a frog. It was a good one. <laughs> That's one of those that breaks your heart. Yeah. The grass seems to be key early in the day. Now when the sun comes up, we can get anything on grass. I was hoping to stay overcast today, but maybe it might be a little better. It looks like it's gonna clear out pretty good. Yeah, I think. Just pull off and it pulled off. Oh, that's on there. Thanks, swimming at the boat.
Finally got a decent fish in the boat. I did too. I didn't think he got it at first. Drill TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, brought to you by Bill Penny Toyota, Sweet Home Alabama, Wing Creek Casino, and by Garmin. There's more to come. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because uh, now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious. So our mission statement here at Bill Penny Motor Company is to enrich the lives of our employees and our customers and the communities we serve. And it really begins and ends with people. It started with that kind of philosophy with my granddad and went through my dad. Growing up around the business, I remember being just a kid washing cars and meeting these customers. Now I'm a grown adult and they get to buy vehicles from us and hopefully serve their next of kin for generations to come. For the whole story, visit us at BillPennyToyota.com where people always come first. Lights are dazzling, shining bright. The busy hum permeates the air. It's electric. With a dash of spice, you kick up the heat until you spin it, twirling on your feet. Sweat it out. The thrill of the game, the high of the night. The sizzle of temptation, the intoxication of sensation, and just like that, it's another ending to your glorious hot Alabama nights. Wing Creek Casino and Hotel in Montgomery or Wetumpka. Find your winning moment. Are you done yet? Does it look like I'm done? Shouldn't you be at work? Shouldn't you be at work? Todd. Hold on. Your real bike's all fixed. And you guys are good. Oh, we are the number one motorcycle insurer in the country. <laughs> Wait, you have a real motorcycle? And real insurance with 24-hour customer support. <laughs> well, I retire as champion. Game hog. Champion. You've probably, if you've been around fishing any time in your lifetime, you've heard this gentleman announce the 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 big leagues, the uh, Bassmasters elites when they come into the arena at the Bassmaster Classic. He's from Alabama. He's been around the fishing industry for as long as I've been in the fishing industry, and I won't say how long that is. Um, he's from Alabama. Please welcome Don Day to the stage. Thank you, Kay. Thank you very much. What a great day. And the weather's turning off beautiful. And it's a Mother's Day weekend. Everything's going to be just right with the world, isn't it? All right, well, we're ready to roll. Let's get her going here. What do you say? 
All right, we got Chase Dorsett and Brandon Smith coming in, boat 16. See what you're going to do today. Get them weighed up. 863. 863 as you wait. Well, what do you think? It's a tough day. We had plenty of bites, just couldn't capitalize on everything. Lake's fishing really good right now. It's gotten better over the last week, but if you can't capitalize the brand to the boat, it don't matter. 1284. 1284. So it looks like you're taking a lead so far. Uh, it ain't going to last, that's for sure. <laughs> you hold up, huh? No, not at all. 3.80. 380. All right, that's your big fish lead. All right, hang in there, guys. We'll see you all later. 1501. Taking a lead right here. Way to go. Here we go, Jack and Kathy Womack, boat 91. They've got a limit as well. Kathy's out in the boat taking care of business. Look here, Jack and Kathy did good. Look at this, folks. What, 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 what? 16, 13, and a new lead. We got an overall leader. He's got the so solid weight and the big fish is going to be, what was it, 5 what? 503. 503. 503 and the big fish, so big fish lead and overall leader. What do you think, man? Is going to hold up? Oh, I don't know if it will or not. Um, I lost two good fish this morning that really kind of got me in a bad mood right off the bat. And when I got here this morning, they wanted to put a camera on my boat, so I thought that was going to jinx me. Obviously, it didn't jinx you. Well, when I lost those two, I thought it did, but went to another place, and Kathy actually caught that big fish. I could lie and say I did, but she... You could have, but she'd have gotten back with you sooner or later. Yeah, it's a good sack of bass, a good sack. There we go. Looks, I'm putting them up here in like the second or third place. 1572 moves them into second place. Mitch and Candler. Five fish to wait. Look at here. 1664. 1664. And that moves them up to the top of the leaderboard. All right, get over and get you some fish. Let's see some pictures here. Come on, guys. Yeah, there we go. Well, I can thank Don Day for helping out on stage. And how about it? Mitchell McCollum. They do it again. The first guys to do it in the north. Uh, taking two event wins in, in one season. That's pretty incredible. And they do it on tough fishing conditions at both lakes. You know, if Wheeler says anything about this team, it says that they can figure out tough conditions. They did it at Wheeler, and they did it again here at Neely Henry. I mean, you got hats off to these guys. They uh, searched around, searched around. They had a little bit of a late boat number, you know, today. So uh, I think that late boat number maybe helped them just a little bit, but I hats off to these guys. And with only one round remaining, the Angler of the Year, they're on top of that as well. They catch the big fish. What a weekend for them, and we caught up with them just a moment ago. All right, here with the first place team. Guys, the first team in the North to ever win two tournaments in a single season. How's that feel? Uh, it feels great. We uh, we didn't really expect to win this one, but uh, we got a couple big bites that uh, helped a lot. How big was the big fish today? Uh, it was 570 something. 576. 576. So we got the win and the big fish plus all the extra bonus money. 17,007 is what I understand? Yeah, I believe that's it. It's not a bad payday. That's pretty good. So you had a dink in the boat as well. We watched you pull your fish out. You had a small one. You thought it was going to hurt you. Yeah, we thought that small one was going to cost us. It was, uh, it was about 12 o'clock and we had two good ones in the boat and we said, hey, we're three bites away. Um, and ended up getting two more bites, but we thought that little one was going to cost us. You know, these guys are sticks out here and uh, usually can't sneak by with 16 something, but, but we did today. We were fortunate. So a lot of the guys we talked to and pulled up on a day, they were catching fish early, but you had two at noon. What were you guys doing different? Well, we had five fish, but the ones that we caught uh, this morning, they were small. Um, you know, we were, we were having to really kind of bear down and grind and just flip, flip, flip all day long. Uh, and we knew that we weren't going to get a ton of bites doing it, but uh, the ones that we got, we knew they, were, they would be pretty good ones. So currently leading angler of the year. You've won two events. You've already made the championship. How do you feel about Gunnersville? Uh, ledge fishing is my favorite way to fish. So Gunnersville in June, it, it, uh, it ought to be fun. Sets up pretty good for you, huh? Uh, yes. All right. So we feel pretty good about winning angler of the year in this deal? Hey, you know, don't ever count your eggs till they hatch. But, uh, you know, today was definitely a good boost to, to keep carrying on towards Angler of the Year. And, and we got Gunnersville coming up. And like he said, it's his favorite way to fish. He, and he's pretty good out there. So it ought to be a slug fest. Hopefully it's a fun tournament. Congratulations once again. And only one more round to go in the ABT North K. It's Gunnersville time. A big lake, big money up for grabs, and some big sticks coming. And big fish out there as well. We'll see you next time on Fox Sports Southeast.